got to talk about. Uh. No news, we can always find something, Mike. So do, do you anticipate that Isaac is going to play? Or? I do. I do. I thought that we had a big move today. You know, it's kind of confidence right now. He put his pads on, did some individual work, and did the quarterback center stuff. I would anticipate an opportunity for tomorrow, and of course, he's he's real smart. He stayed with what we're doing, so if he's able to play, he'll play. How is uh, DJ Alexander coming along? He raced Trent Gray over to the defensive field. Yeah, I think uh, it's all good. It's all good, positive progress. Uh, no setbacks. Probably uh, s feels better sooner uh, than than maybe it would be normal even. How much are you expecting out of Garrett if at all this week? Uh, gosh, I hope that's a good story. You know, he is, uh, he's kind of every other day practicing. So if he continues to make progress, I, you know, I finally saw him yesterday feel optimistic. Uh, it was a good, I mean, I just got a sense from him that he thinks things might be coming around for him. And he is a smart, good kid. We could really, really use him. And uh, just for him personally, it would be awesome if that thing would come around. What about Josh Mitchell? You know, Isaac's back in center now, so does he move over to guard where Roman was? Well, we'll, that we'll make that decision day? when we know for sure Isaac can play. With those guys that have, you know, kind of slid in there and gotten some more reps, how have you liked their, their progression? They're growing? good. They're good. You know, they, they, they're, uh, they're inexperienced. They're growing. They're but uh, great kids, smart, work hard. Uh, you know, we anticipate if they play, they'll do a good job. Coach, what's it like having Ty Anderson back after having him out all spring and now you got a pullback that seems to be going pretty well with the one that he's Yeah, I like Ty a lot. That's another good story. He's a, he's a really good football player. You know, he plays special teams all over the place. He's a, he's just one of the best football players on our team. So it's good to have him back. Well, Richard, everybody knows about his hands. Mike, where has he improved the most, would you say, in the past three weeks? Oh, I, I think it's more of over the last three months or six months. It's strength. You know, he's, he, uh, I think that's still going to be something that takes him to another level is getting stronger. And with that, maybe a little faster. He's a terrific receiver. He's got really good burst. He's got some explosion. Uh, strength and speed are going to be things that he can continue to try to grab onto. On the flip side with uh, Nelson and Martin, they're coming along obviously in a battle, their competition. They're listed as or on the depth chart. Uh, can you are they different in any way? Or are they really similar players? Well, they're both they're both pretty darn good players. It's a little bit like trying to separate what was going on at uh, quarterback. You know, the one the one difference is Sean has been here a while longer, and Sean's going to have some versatility too. He's they're both going to play in the games because of our our, our situation uh, substitute packages, uh, whether it's dime or or nickel stuff. So. You know, Do you have a starter between those two, though? We will. Somebody will start the game when we're in base defense. And, and then, Do you uh, not know who that is, or you just haven't told them yet? We haven't told them yet. With uh, Stephen, sort of like Harlow coming in, he was here in the spring, how much did that help him with uh, grasping the defense? As well? Who's that? Nelson. Nelson. Oh, big time, big time, yeah. He is, uh, you know... We haven't made this a rule, but I almost would like to, that if we get a transfer uh, in, that they have to be here for at least spring term. Uh, otherwise, it's, it's we don't know, we don't know if they're coming, and uh, we don't know if they'll be ready. So uh, I won't say that yet that it's a rule, but I sure like it a lot better. All the guys, uh, it was very good for Delva, it's very good for Howtow, and it's been very good for Nelson to have been here in the spring. All three of those guys have improved dramatically from spring practice. You know, we knew they were good players, but we also know that this is even uh, no matter where you come from, it's a different level of football. And to really compete, they have to be ready for it. And uh, I think the spring practice was really helpful to them. Coach, have you had much of a chance uh, when you've been watching the scout team to get a look at Grimble and Felipe and how they've been coming along as defensive tackle? I haven't seen much of Felipe yet, to tell you the truth, but Grimble is not hard to spot. He's a he's a He's very explosive. Uh, you know, he should be a real good addition to our team. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Mike, you may have. Uh...